Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another video. Today I thought we'd play with this image transfer that I made um, of one of my photos that I added the Polaroid border to. Let's just get started. I'm going to start off with hand sanitizer. And what happened to my nib? <laughs> so I did a little research on this bottle of hand sanitizer, and it turns out it was discontinued for some reason. So there is no more of it, which is very sad because it works great. But, so we'll just use it while we can, as we do, and then we'll find another one. Okay, got our image. And I'm just gonna place this sort of right off to the side. Hopefully, I have enough transfer stuff on there. Let's make sure I got the right side. I missed a little bit over here, but it's okay. I also found with these that if you don't get enough sanitizer, you can always put more on. This one looks like it's pretty good. Get the bone folder out. Okay, let's see what we got. Ooh, that's fun. I missed a little spot there. There's also been questions on whether you can reuse these transfer sheets. Now, I've been trying to use them as stencils, like, but you can see how sticky that is. So it's probably not gonna work. I'm gonna go in with some pencils. Oh, that's still kind of wet. Make some marks. And I did peel up my paper a little bit there. When paper gets soggy like that, you have to kind of be careful with it but not too careful. I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate this in, but I kinda like what's going on there. I might wanna put some Payne's Gray through here. So let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit through here. I'm gonna try not to cover up all of this good stuff that we did. I love the transfer, but I can't let that stop me from making marks. You know what I mean? We still gotta make our marks. Well, I do like that. Um, let's come in with a little bit of color shaper. Let's see if we can just make some little marks through here. I don't wanna be too precious with it, but I also don't wanna, I kinda like this these sort of choppy lines that we have here, and I think it'd be fun to mimic that. You know, those broken lines through here. Okay. To kind of almost give it, I think it needs some brown in there too. Let's put some brown over here. Okay, I've got the sepia Dale Roni ink through here. And I think what I just want to do is I'm going to make some marks and then we're going to bring it down. Get this a little wet. So it's sort of this same kind of like Polaroid-y texture. So we can incorporate this without it being looking so choppy, I guess is the word I want. Disjointed, maybe. Okay, I like that. I've got some little bit of green, grayish green in here. I think down here that kind of like mimics the, the actual transfer image. So let's do some of that, like maybe through here. So I've got out the Kiritakis here. Um, I think this is the blue that I want, this sort of Robin's Hicks blue, but I don't want a lot of it. Let's see how that looks. It might be too much. Now I'm scared. <laughs> so I kind of want it to be 
Okay, that's a lot, but... I don't want it to be everywhere, but I kind of want it to just be subtle. That's maybe too much, but I think I'm going to stop there. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of this sort of burnt sienna color in here too, since we have it out. Maybe cover a little bit of that blue. I'm just liking this sort of line that we got going on here with these mimicking the transfer. If you guys have ever done Polaroid transfers, you know that they're very messy and the chemicals kind of eke out everywhere. What about the screen color down here? What's that do? That's kind of a fun, oh, that's nice, I like that. I don't want too much of it, but I feel like that's doing something. What do we think? Getting a little bit picky, okay. So I'm going to come in with this Lyra. This is the, what is this, Van Dyke Brown. And I want to just bring, that's not really dark enough, is it? Well, maybe. I kind of just want to mimic this shape through here because it's feeling very disjointed. I need a darker brown. What's this one? Ooh, dark sepia. Okay, I gotta dry this first. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, that's nice, look at that. Just sort of continue that line. Let's sort of make this feel like it belongs at this part. I like that much better. Okay, I'm gonna come in with some Mars Black. Put some vertical lines here with the dry brush. Oh, that really did something. I like that. Um, you know what I want to do is also, what we just added. Okay, I'm going to add some more lines down through here. This is a little bit over our grassy sort of area. Subtle. Nice. Okay, I'm going to use this little tiny baby stencil through here. I don't even know if I can get in those little holes. We're going to try. I thought it was just really kind of cool. Like... Add a little bit of yeah, I like my graphic shapes. Okay. Oh, I like that. I think that did something. So we have three sets of shapes, the black. Okay, I think I want to come in with a little bit of ink tints in the paints gray. Make a mark. There. I gotta order another one of these. It's almost dead. And you know what? I might wanna, I never do this, but I think I wanna, no, I don't wanna do that. That's gonna be too janky. Mm. Maybe he's just, Get in there with the fingers. Just want to add a little bit of depth through here. Some darker colors. I'm just fussy. Okay, I think we're done. Okay. Um, I like that I kept most of the Polaroid transfer intact. And then it kind of gives you a little window. It's almost like you're looking through a window at a little prairie scene. Um, I like that I added those marks through there. Um, I like the ink. I like the, uh, all the layers that we got. The blue is a really nice addition, I think. 
it's a little different, but I kind of like it. I mean, it's not that much different. Let's look at it with a mat. And there it is with the mat. What do we think? I think that it's uh, pretty successful. I like this one. I think my favorite part is actually this little tiny dots. I think that's really kind of cool. Um, overall, I think it's pretty successful. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click over here to see the latest video. And I will see you, hopefully, this weekend with another video. Thanks so much. Bye.